Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 561. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about an interesting topic that I was speaking about recently with some friends, and that is Airbnb. And this article says Airbnb to open 200 luxury suites inside New York's famous Rockefeller Plaza. One of the reasons why I think Airbnb is so interesting is because I feel like this is a real change of paradigm. I feel like people are going to travel and stay at people's homes more frequently than they are at hotels, at least probably for pleasure travel, maybe not for business travel so much. And that people are going to build casitas or apartments, mother-in-law apartments in their homes, specifically for the purpose of renting them out on Airbnb. I noticed that some new construction has mother-in-law apartments built in, and I couldn't help but think about people using that to rent out to Airbnb and create a steady income. A person I know has three homes, one in the metropolitan city area, one at the beach, and one in a snowy fishing town in another state. And what they do when they're out of town is they rent out their property on Airbnb. And what a smart thing to do, to turn an asset that would be sitting there into an income producing asset. And this is something that I think really shifted because when interest rates became so low, hedge funds couldn't invest in bonds anymore to generate any kind of a regular return like they were used to in the 6% range, let's say. Bonds were nowhere near that. So what they did instead was they started buying up houses and renting them out. And that produced an income stream that generated about a 6% average annual return. Now that varies depending on what city they're in and when they bought the house and what rents are doing and all of that, I realize. But I just really have a feeling this Airbnb situation could be a real paradigm shift for a lot of people who are retired and want to travel and generate some income, for younger people who want to generate income. I just have a feeling this is going to be a bigger trend than just something that is trendy at the moment, if you will. So let me share this article with you. It comes from the dailymail.com, which is a UK publication. There are three bullet points. It says, rental website is taking over 10 floors inside 75 Rockefeller Plaza. Suites are being designed so guests feel like they are staying in an apartment. And the third bullet point is they will have views of St. Patrick's Cathedral and the Empire State Building. And the article says, visitors to New York will be able to stay at one of the city's most famous locations, thanks to Airbnb. The rental website has announced it is taking over 10 floors of 75 Rockefeller Plaza and creating 200 luxury suites. The suites are set to be designed to feel like apartments and an on-hand concierge will help guests to navigate the city like a local New Yorker. Airbnb is partnering with real estate company RXR Realty to offer the high-end apartments on its website. It says that all 200 rooms will be individually curated and custom designed and will come with fully stocked kitchens. They will also have views of landmarks including Rockefeller Center, St. Patrick's Cathedral, and the Empire State Building. There will be a private social club and a business center located on the building's top floor and a restaurant and bar on the ground floor. Guests will get tech-enabled access to the building and will enter through a lobby that connects 51st and 52nd Streets. Airbnb says guests will be supported by a dedicated concierge service staffed by local and knowledgeable hosts who will provide guests with a highly personalized experience. It is unclear when the luxury apartments will be ready to rent. 
Brian Chesky, CEO of Airbnb, said, When we launched Airbnb over 10 years ago, it was immediately clear how people opening their homes could make guests feel like locals. With this new partnership with RxR, we hope to provide that same unique feeling in the form of new spaces in the heart of Midtown Manhattan and elsewhere so that everyone can enjoy an authentic New York experience. While Scott Reckler, chairman of RxR Realty, added, With the lines between business travel and leisure travel becoming increasingly blurred, RxR and Airbnb are offering a travel experience that immerses guests in a dynamic, thriving community in the heart of Rockefeller Center that's vastly different from anything else in the market today. We're proud to partner with one of the most innovative companies in the world to provide a unique and authentic travel experience unlike any other in New York City. Airbnb and RxR Realty are also looking at other properties in New York City where they can offer accommodation, including 47 Hall Street, close to the Brooklyn Navy Yard. End of article. Well, there you have it. I thought that was really fascinating. Maybe some of that commercial space that's being emptied by companies that are having trouble with retail might get taken up by Airbnb and turned into some luxury units. You never know, but it sounds like This is an important trend to be watching, and I love this idea. I love what's happening here. I think this is huge, and it's going to be a big moneymaker for people that have multiple properties or who are open to renting their home out when they're not there. What a great income opportunity. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit that subscribe button, and you'll be notified as soon as podcasts are available. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.